Hey, welcome back to our channel everyone, it's Ned Voyage and we are live from Bali. This place is insane. I've been hearing about this island for years, seeing it all over Instagram, but nothing, absolutely nothing compares to experiencing it firsthand. The energy here is just different, you know? It's like this crazy mix of tranquility and excitement all rolled into one. Over the next few days, I'm going to be taking you guys with me as we explore everything Bali has to offer. We're talking ancient temples, hidden waterfalls, epic sunsets, and maybe even some monkey business along the way. So buckle up, smash that like button, and let's get this adventure started. Alright, first things first, we gotta talk about the culture here in Bali. It's rich, vibrant, and deeply rooted in tradition. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. The streets are alive with colors, sounds, and the aroma of local cuisine. Everywhere you look, there's something beautiful and intricate, from the offerings they leave at temples to the way they practice their religion. It's just different, man. The devotion and artistry are truly mesmerizing. Speaking of temples, you can't come to Bali without visiting the sacred monkey forest in Ubud. It's a must-see. Now I gotta warn you, these monkeys are not shy. They're curious and mischievous. They'll climb all over you, try to steal your stuff, but hey, it's all part of the experience, right? Just keep an eye on your belongings and enjoy the playful antics. The forest itself is incredible too. All these ancient trees and moss-covered statues, it's like stepping back in time. The atmosphere is almost magical. Seriously, if you want to experience the real Bali, this is where it's at. The blend of nature, culture, and history here is unparalleled. You'll leave with memories that last a lifetime. Okay, so if you know me, you know I love a good adventure. And there's nothing quite like the thrill of exploring new places and pushing your limits. And let me tell you, Bali does not disappoint. This island is a paradise for adventurers and nature lovers alike. This morning, we woke up at the crack of dawn. And I mean, the actual crack of dawn, like 3 a.m., to hike up Mount Batur. It was an early start, but the excitement kept us going. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the hike was brutal. The trail was steep and rocky, and every step felt like a challenge. It was dark, it was humid, my legs were burning, and the air was thick with moisture. We had to rely on our headlamps to light the way. But let me tell you, reaching the summit and watching the sunrise over the volcanic landscape, it was pure magic. The sky transformed into a canvas of colors, we're talking breathtaking views of Mount Aegong, Lake Batur, and the surrounding valleys. The sight was absolutely mesmerizing. The whole island was bathed in this golden light, making everything look surreal and otherworldly. It was like stepping into a dream. It was one of those moments where you just have to stop and appreciate the beauty of this planet. You feel a deep connection with nature. So yeah, if you're up for a challenge, add Mount Batur to your list. The experience is tough, but incredibly rewarding. You won't regret it. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Bali's all adventure, all the time, right? Wrong. This place is also the ultimate relaxation destination. After that crazy hike, we decided to treat ourselves to a little villa life. And let me tell you, these villas are insane. We're talking private pools, outdoor showers, stunning views of the rice paddies, the works. I'm pretty sure I spent a solid two hours just lounging by the pool, sipping on fresh coconut water, and soaking up the sun. It was exactly what I needed after those early morning climbs. Sometimes, you just gotta slow down, appreciate the finer things in life, you know? And Bali, my friends, is the perfect place to do just that. Chapter 4 Alright, let's talk about the food, because let's be real. Food is life, and the food in Bali is next level. We're talking fresh, flavorful, and so cheap. My personal favorite? Nasi goreng. It's this incredible fried rice dish with veggies, chicken, a fried egg on top. So good. And then there's babi guling, which is basically Balinese roast pork, and it is just melt-in-your-mouth delicious. But honestly, you can't go wrong with any of the food here. Whether you're grabbing street food from a local vendor or hitting up a fancy restaurant, your taste buds are in for a real treat. Chapter 5 So, 
One of the things that surprised me most about Bali was the underwater world. I mean, I knew there were beaches, but I had no idea the snorkeling and diving here would be this incredible. We took a boat trip over to Nusa Penida, which is this island just off the coast of Bali, and it was like stepping into a National Geographic documentary. We're talking crystal clear water, colorful coral reefs, and fish everywhere. And the coolest part? We got to swim with manta rays. These majestic creatures just gliding through the water, it was an experience I'll never forget. So yeah, if you're into marine life, make sure you add Nusa Penida to your itinerary. Chapter 6 Okay, so Bali is known for its spirituality and wellness retreats, and I figured, hey, why not give it a try? I mean, I'm all about trying new things, pushing my boundaries, you know? So, we headed to Ubud, which is like the yoga capital of Bali, and signed up for a meditation retreat. Now, I'm not gonna lie, meditation is hard. All that sitting still, clearing your mind, it's not as easy as it looks. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep at one point, but hey, I tried, right? And even though I'm not sure I achieved total zen, I definitely felt more relaxed and centered afterwards. So yeah, if you're looking for a little inner peace, Bali's got you covered. Chapter 7 Hidden Waterfalls and Two-Wheeled Adventures One of the best decisions I made in Bali? Renting a motorbike. It gave me the freedom to explore at my own pace, to take the road less traveled, and to discover places that are off the beaten path. Seriously, if you want to experience the real Bali, get out of the tourist zones and explore the countryside. The landscapes are breathtaking, with lush green fields, winding roads, and the occasional glimpse of the ocean. We hopped on our bikes and just started driving. No plan, no destination. Just the open road and the wind in our hair. It was liberating, a true sense of adventure. We stumbled across these hidden waterfalls, tucked away in the most unexpected places. The sound of the water crashing down was like music to our ears. Ancient temples hidden in the jungle, shrouded in mystery and history. Each one had its own story to tell, and we felt like explorers uncovering secrets of the past. And these tiny villages where life seemed to move at a different pace. The simplicity and tranquility were a stark contrast to the hustle and bustle of the city. It was like stepping back in time. The traditional houses, the way people went about their daily lives, it was all so fascinating. And the best part? Meeting the locals. Their warmth and hospitality were unmatched. Everyone was so friendly and welcoming, always ready with a smile or a helping hand. Even though we couldn't understand a word they were saying, the language barrier didn't matter. The connection was genuine and heartfelt. It was a side of Bali you just don't experience from the back of a taxi. The freedom of the motorbike allowed us to see the island in a way that felt authentic and personal, creating memories that will last a lifetime. Okay, let's be real. No trip to Bali is complete without experiencing the nightlife. And trust me, this island knows how to party. From beach clubs in Seminyak to underground bars in Kangu, there's something for everyone. We spent most of our nights dancing on the beach, watching the sunset with a cocktail in hand, and just soaking up the good vibes. The music scene here is pretty diverse too. You've got everything from electronic dance music to live reggae bands. So yeah, if you're looking to let loose and have some fun, Bali's got you covered. One of the most memorable experiences I had in Bali was witnessing a traditional Balinese ceremony. We stumbled across this procession in Ubud with people dressed in these elaborate costumes, playing traditional music and carrying offerings to the temple. It was such a beautiful and spiritual experience, and it really gave me a deeper appreciation for the Balinese culture. The Balinese people are incredibly devoted to their religion, and it's evident in everything they do. From the daily offerings they leave at their homes and businesses to the elaborate ceremonies they hold throughout the year, their faith is an integral part of their lives. It's really inspiring to see. For our last adventure in Bali, we decided to take a day trip to the Gili Islands. These three tiny islands are just a short boat ride from Bali, and they offer a completely different vibe. We're talking pristine beaches, crystal clear water, and a much more laid-back atmosphere. 
we spent the day snorkeling, sunbathing, and just enjoying the island life. If you're looking for a break from the hustle and bustle of Bali, the Gili Islands are the perfect escape. Trust me, you won't want to leave. So that's a wrap on our Bali adventure. This place is truly special. From the moment I got here, I felt this sense of peace and wonder that I haven't felt anywhere else. Maybe it's the stunning landscapes, the vibrant culture, or the friendly locals, but Bali just has this way of getting under your skin. It's been an incredible journey, and I'm already planning my next trip back. If you're looking for an adventure that will stay with you long after you've left, look no further than Bali. Trust me, it's an experience you won't soon forget. Until next time, keep exploring, and remember to subscribe to Ned Voyage for all your travel content. Bye for now.